distributed Brenda Kero Botox to copy a CEO team still on enabling access to good and services through innovative platforms. Take a look. Copia is a seven-year-old mobile commerce platform, or M-commerce, that is focused on low-income consumers. The platform allows for the buying and selling of goods and services through wireless handheld devices such as smartphones and tablets. It therefore enables users to access online shopping platforms without needing a use of a desktop computer. So when we first started, it was... Tim Steele is the CEO of Copia. He has a finance background and 25 years transport and service industry experience in emerging markets. Tim Steele, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. We really appreciate it. How exactly has the pandemic changed the retail space in Kenya? The main reason is that it's reduced people's incomes, sadly. Um, and there is a lot less cash going around. People are focusing very much more on essential goods, um, things like foods, commodities, personal care items for hygiene. And I think that has changed the way that retailers are thinking and made them focus very much in the short term on customer satisfaction and ensuring that they keep the loyalty of those customers such that when the economy recovers, they have an opportunity to continue to grow with that consumer. Mobile shopping is on the rise and it's partly because of the pandemic. So how exactly are you making it easier for consumers to shop? The consumer that we focus on is the historically underserved consumer, the consumer who physically is distant from the market. Um, so whether that be they, they live in peri-urban, rural areas, dense urban areas, they don't have access to modern trade, top quality supermarkets. So physically it's difficult for them to get goods. Um, secondly, digitally, those consumers are not online in the same sense as we're all familiar now with online shopping. So. The, the, the model of e-commerce that we're familiar with is growing up very, very quickly and I think is um, helping the consumer to shop in that safe way that I just described in the urban areas. But in the non-higher-end um, urban areas, that's where Copia is coming to the fore, serving that consumer who doesn't have access to the internet, serving the consumer who doesn't have a bank account, serving the consumer who um, does not have a fixed address for delivery. So what are people buying? Are they buying clothes? Are they buying food? Since last March, when the pandemic struck, we've seen that the consumer is now spending roughly 30% less than they were a year ago. But of course, they still have to sp spend the same amount on food and personal care and hygiene items. So those items are very much to the fore. But what we're starting to see as well is an increasing propensity of the youth consumer to shop with Copia. Um, they're buying fashion items indeed, which you wouldn't really expect um, maybe of a more rural consumer. Do you think the momentum in, will hold even after the pandemic? Do you think people will still shop uh, using their mobile phones or they will go back to the brick and mortar and the physical stores? I think it will be a combination. Um, I think that the consumer naturally enjoys physically going shopping. Uh, this is one of the trends that we've seen in places that are opening up more quickly than Kenya after the pandemic, that people are still continuing to buy certain goods online, but other classes of goods they'd prefer to go and touch and feel and actually you know, test out the goods before they buy them. So, Tim, what kind of a CEO are you? Um, I hope I'm one who focuses first on the customer because that's really where it all starts and we have a, a really well-developed program of building insights and understanding from our customers, understanding the problems that they face every day, understanding the gains that we can create, the pains that we can solve as we build our value proposition, which is not just around supplying physical goods, but increasingly services as well, and access to information. So you have lived in six countries, and you've also worked in 50 countries. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> so, so which one is your favorite? And you're not allowed to mention Kenya. 
Um, well, I have to mention Kenya. I mean, Kenya is just this amazing combination of entrepreneurship generally, um, digital enablement, fast-growing youth population. It's really hard not to mention Kenya when you, from a, a retail and distribution perspective and problems to solve, you have all that opportunity. So other than that, if I had to name a favorite country, it's Iran. Um, because it, it's just so unknown these days. It's gone through so many problems, yet it's one of the, the centers of global civilization. Um, and again, a massive population with huge, huge potential, great history, great character, um, great stresses and strains that are fascinating to watch as it develops. And what's the best career advice that you've got so far? Be yourself is number one. Don't try and be somebody else because you think that they were a good model or they were successful. Pick on your own strengths and follow those through. Um, and I think it, it's build great teams. What a week, uh, what a close for this particular week. It's been quite a sport indeed. Thank you very much for watching Business Today. I hope you have your weekend plan. Go for a hike, cycle.